coast of Africa called Madagascar. Over 40 species of lemurs live on Madagascar. They come in all different shapes, colors, and sizes. The smallest lemur, the pygmy mouse lemur, is about the size of a chipmunk. Our friend Zabumafu is a safaka lemur. There are 20 species of langur monkeys living in southern Asia. The word langur means having a long tail, and some langur monkeys have tails longer than their whole body. The kind of langur monkey called the Hanuman langur is considered sacred in India. Peacocks are large birds with beautiful feathered tails that live in India. In fact, in 1963, the Indian government named the peacock the National Bird of India. Only the male birds are called peacocks. Females are called pea hens, and they don't have colorful tail feathers. The peacock is known as the bird with 100 eyes. That's because the spots on his tail feathers look like eyes. A caterpillar goes to sleep in a cocoon and while sleeping turns into a butterfly. Butterflies are usually covered in brightly colored patterns to help them frighten or confuse animals like birds that want to eat them. Butterflies also fly all zigzaggy, so it's harder for birds to catch them. Hey, look who's here! It's my pal Toothbrush, the baby elephant. 
elephant. Wombats are found in Australia and Tasmania. They are kind of like koalas, but they live on the ground, not in trees. They are smart creatures with large brains for their size. Wombats like to come out at night, and during the day, they underground burrows called warrens, whose tunnels can be up to 100 feet long. A lorikeet is a type of parrot that likes to lick nectar from flowers. The rainbow lorikeet is the most brightly colored lorikeet of them all. Moths are related to butterflies. They have thick, hairy bodies and wings that are made up of tiny scales that come off like dust if another animal touches them. Male moths have longer antennae than females. A male moth can find a female moth from five miles away. Hey, look who's here. It's my pal, Big Red the Kangaroo. Raccoons live in most of the United States, in wild areas and in areas where people live. Raccoons are nocturnal, which means they are mostly active at night. Their front paws have pretty much the same shape as human hands. Raccoons sleep a lot more during the winter, but they don't hibernate like bears do. Owls are birds that like to come out at night. Because of this, they have great hearing and large eyes that help them track their prey in the dark. They also have super silent feathers that help them glide up silently on their prey. When he wants to look behind him, an owl can turn his head almost all the way around. Fireflies are sometimes called lightning bugs because their tails flash on and off. You can tell different species of fireflies because the patterns and colors of their flashes are different. Fireflies eat mostly pollen and nectar, but some don't eat anything at all during their whole lives. Frogs, on the other hand, love to eat fireflies. In fact, some frogs will eat so many fireflies, the frogs will start to glow. Hey, look who's here! It's my pal, Muscles, the black bear! Arctic foxes are small furry animals that live in dens or burrows. They're gray in the summer and white in the winter. Arctic foxes mostly eat mouse-like rodents called lemmings, but they also eat birds, berries, and even fish. Puffins are small birds that like cold weather and cold water. They're very fast underwater when they're chasing fish and catching them. A puffin can hold many small fish in his beak at once. The record is 62 fish. Puffins live together in a very large group called a raft, and they're the only bird that molts their beak with their feathers. Every year, the top layer of a puffin's beak sheds right off. Mosquitoes grow from egg to adult in about three weeks. If you've ever been bitten by a mosquito, it is definitely a female, because only female mosquitoes drink blood. Male mosquitoes only drink plant juices. Hey, hey, look who's here! It's my pal Surf, the harp seal. Coatis live in an area stretching from the southwestern United States down through South America. They're from the same family of animals as raccoons. Males tend to travel alone, and they're called coati mundi. But coati females and their kids travel in packs of 5 to 40 individuals. Toucans are birds with long, colorful bills that live in Central and South America. Toucans are some of the noisiest birds in the forest. They make lots of neat sounds like croaks, barks, and even bugles. Their colorful bill is made of the same stuff that fingernails are made from. Toucans like to fly, and they love to hop from branch to branch to move around in the trees where they live. Dragonflies are insects that have two pairs of wings and can hover in place like a helicopter. They have huge eyes that take up most of their head. Plus, they're really good at catching mosquitoes, which is why they're sometimes called mosquito hawks. Hey, look who's here. It's my water-loving pal, Jaguar the Jaguar. Lemurs live on a large island off the east coast of Africa called Madagascar. Over 40, there are 20 species of langur monkeys living in southern Asia. The word langur means happy. Pick the binoculars. We need to collect mangoes. Uh, are you ready for an adventure now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're going to a river in the Indian jungle. You can collect mangoes there. Keep an eye open for our baby elephant friend, Toothbrush. Hey, I have to tell Toothbrush about my happy lemur day party. Do you remember the first time he visited Animal Junction? My friend Toothbrush the elephant is so big, when the Crat Brothers told me he was just a baby elephant, I couldn't believe my mind. 
elephants have great big bodies covered with hairs that are stiff like toothbrush bristles. Well, that's why I named them Toothbrush. And they have a long, thin tail with more bristly hairs on the end of it. An elephant's nose is longer than his tail. Well, it's like a snake with a grabby tip. They can use their nose like a hand to grab things. And it can even hold water. Elephants' legs and feet are like tree trunks that keep their bodies high off the ground. What an amazing animal! Wow! Collect as many mangoes as you can, Zabu. Avoid touching the languor monkeys, Zabu, or they'll want to eat all the party snacks before the party. Just like Gubo. <laughs> When I leap real high, I call it a super leap. Lima bean. All beans are legumes, but not all legumes are beans. A peacock. Animal fun fact. Peacock females are called pea hens, and they don't have the male's colorful tail feathers. A langur monkey. Lima bean. Beans are good for me. <laughs> it's a good thing I know how to swim. Animal fun fact. The Hanuman langur is a kind of langur that is considered sacred in India. I can sniff the air to figure out the direction of the nearest snack. My sniff... Swimming. A butterfly. <laughs> 